guys welcome back to my channel if you're new i'm Isola bianca and please do subscribe to my channel thumbs up to this video and don't forget to press the notification bell as well so you'll be notified each time i upload new videos I'm sharing with you guys some serum that is going to help you to lighten up your dark knuckles dark feet and dark elbows or dark knee so if you've seen my if you've not seen my dark knuckles video and i'm really grateful for 15,000 views i'm really grateful for the amount of views i've received on that dark knuckles video if you've not seen it i'm going to be leaving a link down below so you go check it out so i'm going to also be sharing with you guys the tips i've been using to make sure my dark knuckles don't go back the way it was before as you can see dark knuckles is not just for the light skin girl or who bleaches their skin or who uses who use dark a uh, white uh, brightening who uses whitening lotion also dark skin girls can also have dark knuckles so i'm going to be sharing with you guys all these tips i've been using to maintain my dark knuckles you can see i'm really proud of myself i'm really happy that i could keep this process and i could continue the technique that i've been using to maintain my dark knuckles so if you're interested in this video continue watching i'm going to be sharing the tips and please subscribe don't forget subscribe subscribe thumbs up this video and also press your notification bell so this thing i avoid doing that has been really helping my dark knuckles i avoid using hot waters on my dark knuckles before what i used to do if i want to wash plates if i want to wash dishes and do my art shows i use hot water especially in the winter i'm like oh i'm scared i don't want my hands to be frozen i don't want my hands to be cold you have to take off you have to remove that thought from your mind if you want to have a bright looking knuckles you have to take off that thought from your mind you have to avoid using hot water absolutely absolutely avoid using hot water even when i take shower now i don't really use hot water to take shower i use minimal temperature that is not going to burn my skin is not going to be too cold as well so when i do when since i started avoiding using hot water i've seen drastic changes avoid using hot water on your dark knuckles avoid it my second tip and i start the second one i started using gloves whenever i want to do dishes or whenever i want to clean the house clean my glasses stuff like that i started using gloves because those uh, those chemicals that you use to clean the house and do your dishes those uh, soap or those chemical or those spray or whatever it is trust me it contains chemical it contains chemical that it's better to avoid it on your hands or on your skin you to your body so i started using gloves and that has really helped me as well i started using gloves on my hands whenever i want to clean the house whenever i want to do my dishes but sometimes not all the time i put on gloves whenever i want to do dishes there are sometimes i just get really bored i'm like really bored i get really bored putting on that gloves sometimes maybe i just want to wash like two cups and some fork and knife i just use my hand really fast but the one thing i do i avoid using hot water so that has really helped me as well for for the third third tips third tips that i'll be doing i always massage i always moisturize my hands i always use a hand moisturizer cream it does not have to be a hand cream you can also use your normal moisturizer cream 
I always moisturize my hand. I do this like maybe four times a day because I know that, you know, like when you put your hands always in water, especially for we moms that stays, for we moms that always have things to do, we are always on the go. We always, well, our hands is always in the water, especially when they are home, when they are not in school. Uh, it, like my daughter, she still uses, she's still on diapers. She's, she, like my daughter, she still uses diapers. So whenever she pee or other stuff, I, I always, I avoid using those chemical baby wipes on her. What I do, I always wash her up. I always wash her up. So my hands is always on the water. So what I do, I do moisturize three to four times a day. I make sure after each, each after each wash I do, or after each cleaning I do, the first thing I do after doing it, I take my moisturizing cream and moisturize my hand. I know this can be overwhelming, but trust me, you don't want to have cracky looking dark knuckles it's really really bad it makes you look as if you are dirty even if you are not it makes you look look as looks as if you are unkept you don't keep your you don't take good care of yourself so trust me you don't want to have bad looking dark knuckles it's better to it's better to always moisturize it even if it's is a bit stressful just do it. Keep your lotion, your moisturizing lotion, where it's very easy to lotion in a place where it's very easy to reach. Like me, I have mine in the bathroom on my, of my on the shelf. Each time I washed my hand, I go there, I take it, I just rub it on my hand. It has really helped me a lot. It has really helped me a lot. You know, we mom like like i said use gloves use gloves but as for we new moms or as for we moms i can't put on gloves to wash my daughter i can't do it i think she's going to even get scared i think she's going to get scared i can't put on gloves to watch my to wash my daughter that is the no no for me so that is why each time i wash her up i just moisturize my hand i moisturize my hand it has really helped me a lot so the last tips if i'm not forgetting um i said avoid using hot water use gloves and moisturize as much as you can during the day and even at night before going to sleep moisturize your hand and Another tip, another tip if I'm not, use sunscreen. Use sunscreen on your hand before going out. This, oh God, thank God, I, did, I didn't forget this. Use sunscreen before going out. Most especially if you, if you are using the serum, this serum, if you are using this serum, I'm going to be measuring, I'm going to be, most especially if you are using serums on your hands, uh use sunscreen use sunscreen before going out if you don't use sunscreen because the serum has kind of i don't know i don't know how to explain it the serum is strong that it, it has lightning product inside it it has lightning ingredients inside so it's better to use sunscreen even before going out like before going out after my shower in the morning or stuff like that i just take my sunscreen and rub it on all over my my knuckles my hands it has really helped me you can see if i have forgotten anything please add to it on the comment section like i keep saying we are all here to learn me i'm still learning so i'm just sharing my tips with you what i'm just sharing to you what i do um that has really helped me i'm still learning too as well please leave a comment down below if you have any tips for us so we all learn together so i'm going to be sharing with you guys the first serum my first first serum the first serum i really like it's one the qer plus the qer plus serum it's very very good 
I can't go into details if you've not seen my review on my QEI Plus lotion, serum and the soap. I'm going to leave the link down below. The QEI Plus lotion, uh, I'm going to be leaving the link down below for you to go check it out. The QEI Plus serum, the QEI Plus serum is a good one. Then the, the second, the Supreme White. The Supreme White, we all know it's good. The Supreme White serum, it's very good. This serum that I'm measuring, they are not going to give you dark knuckles. There is no chemical product inside like the hydroquinone and all, all, the, all, all those other bad ingredients that are going to give you dark knuckles. This serum, they are not going to give you dark knuckles. QEI Plus Supreme One Lighting Up Serum. That serum is good. Uh, a friend of mine do use it. Uh, she has really recommended it for me. I think I'm going to try that on my skin soon. Lighting Up Serum is a good one. And last one on my list is the Fair and White Serum. Fair and White Serum, we all know Fair and White products, it's good. You just have to try and look for the original one because trust me, there are a lot of fake out there. I'll keep saying this. That is the problem with Fair and White products. Fair and White, the, the Supreme the QEI Plus Carrot Extract, the Supreme White, uh, the Supreme White Carrot Extract, Lightening Up, and Fair and White. These four products, these four serums are very good to lighten up. And please, this method, this method, you can you can do it for 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 seven days, one month, depends. So you can achieve your your achieve your your goal. And please, when you see you aren't getting too whiter than your usual skin tone please stop using it and just continue with the moisturizer and maybe vitamin c serum too as well vitamin c serum is very very good it it helps too to lighten up dark knuckles too as well so if you just want to maintain it if you see that you are getting too bright brighter because the serum we all know the serum is is a bit strong it helps to brighten up dark uh, dark spot and all that if you see that your hands are getting too white, I would advise you to stop it and just continue moisturizer, con continue moisturizing your hands and add the vitamin C serum. And that's all I have here for you guys. And please, uh, what is, and please, I'll keep saying it. Please, 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 please. please. Subscribe to my channel, thumbs up to this video, and also you can also share with your family and friends and press the notification bell. I love you guys. Bye. Ciao.